Hello, and welcome back to part seven of the most amazing, special, only official commentary for To Boldly Flee. I'm Punky Brewster, and with us, we have special guest, the one, the only, Doug Walker. Doug, it's great to have you here. Thank you, thank you. Um, I have a problem with my voice right now, but yeah, it's so ha I'm so happy to be here doing a commentary of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm looking at the Afro look. <laughs> Aw, bless his heart. Aw. It's funky, by the way, people. He's not going to have that hair for long. He's <laughs> <laughs> going oh. bald, man. Oh, man. Low blow. Low That's blow. <laughs> Seriously, low blow. <laughs> I see that they chose to let him wear the traditional Canadian shirt of... <laughs> <laughs> and now I will wear the shirt of my people. <laughs> film Brain's afraid of geeks. Actually, that's what Film Brain does in his off time. I've room with him, and pretty much after the cons, over, he's going back to his room and screen. Back yeah, no, no, he's right. That's, that's how Film Brain winds down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's stupid. He should stop that. <laughs> We're all stupid. We should we'll all stop that. Along. Am I wrong, or does that look like the Home Alone house? <laughs> <laughs> it it looks it. like a manor. It looks like a... In a <laughs> I can't tell. There's not enough Joe Pesci. <laughs> How did they get John Travolta for this? And whoever played that... I, I, uh, why is Spoonie oh being God. by that God. way? <laughs> Grandpa? Let's let's be fair. Was John Travolta really doing anything more important? Yeah, he was... No. You know, no. You know the advent of HD has meant someone must invent a newer, better razor. Yes. <laughs> huh. you, you realize you used that exact same line five commentaries ago. It's still true, because every time you look at a man, all you see is just stubble, 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 stubble. It's called makeup. Okay, now I have to, I actually have to make a semi-serious comment. Everybody, look in the background of Kyle's room. Cockhammer! Is there anything in particular that sticks out to you? The cock you know, cock cock the cockhammer. The box that I see there. Escar goes citizen. Yes. Yeah, the snail. The snail. Yes. Uh, I a copy of Kevin Strange's cinematic opus, Cockhammer. A variety of one thousand and one things you must experience before you die. Books. Yeah. I thought that was the gimme porn. But in all seriousness, in all seriousness, uh, I actually got the snail for Kyle, not only as a joke gift, but also as a bit of a little present to say congratulations for being in the anniversary and oh. of. Ven, Ven Gethenian actually put the snail in the shot, and he actually called me the night that he, that him and Kyle shot that, and he said, oh, uh, you know that little snail you got for Kyle? Yeah, it's going to be in the movie. You know, it's, it's funny, though. Looking at Kyle, it makes me realize that when you're shooting something on HD, you really need to invent a better kind of shaver or eraser or something, you know, for, for the stubble. Yeah, I noticed he's got two really big green whiskers coming out of the side of his head. <laughs> Alex Proyasek. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Dark City. Drug I had no idea until I was City, this is Dark City. A reference to Dark City. Yep. <laughs> And this is probably the most beautiful scene in the movie. Not gonna lie. Ground control to my time. What, just a slow zoom into Kyle's head? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, HD is incredible because in real life I never actually noticed that he has that mold beside his eye. But now I can, I can only, I have to look at it in the HD. Pretty irritated that they show all these old films with no sound when they could put in perfectly good movies like The Room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the only problem no, what's, is what's quite funny. What's quite funny about the sequences? Uh, they use audio from uh, Alexander Nevsky, but they have footage from uh, a film which from 
uh, from a pro-German film, and they have audio from Alexander Nevsky. Now, Alexander Nevsky was pro was anti was an explicitly anti-German film. So, God, you know that is exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. Derp, did derp. It's a bit like <laughs> it's a bit like putting. Well, I mean, you guys weren't thinking yeah. that. It's a bit like putting this the theme from Shaft over like Birth of a Nation. I, I kind yeah, of really fun fact to, to shoot this sequence, they put Luke on a record player. <laughs> <laughs> fun fact: Luke is actually one foot tall. They he is. Luke, uh, well, it, it actually worked because Luke's light he, enough that he didn't he, break yeah. the record player. Yeah. He's the uh, he's a white Cat Williams. I'm, I'm also normally. Normally, when we have Luke at a convention, we have to keep him tied to something so a stiff breeze doesn't, you know, blow him completely away. Yeah. And we have to go track him down, and he's stuck in a tree somewhere, and we have to call the fire department. But we have to, you know. Also, it's- Luke, my dog is a chihuahua, and he's actually bigger than Luke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, with, with your dog, we like to throw Luke out there, you know, just to play fetch with him. Yeah, like a stick. Yeah. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, I get it now. If you use those clips, you can still sell the DVD. Got it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. Tell them what he's won, Johnny. A clue. I love that movie. I, that's my I, I actually own Clue, and that's... This is here's a little story. At Magfest, uh, Phil Braid was clearing out some of his one of his bags of crap because he couldn't take it all home, and he actually gave me Clue. I just I love I love Panda in the background of the shot. Of course, I love that Panda's <laughs> bow tie has more character than he does. Yeah. <laughs> Julian just not giving a fuck and loving it. Minis. Wait, is Mars Girl, uh... Those uh, kids look like, uh, M64 controllers. Is Mars Girl a Ghostbuster? Yeah. Well, no, no she's mom... Has so many flaws. She, she's, she's, uh, let me put it this way. She's mom I don't mom. know that Mars Girl's a Ghostbuster, but I do know that she ain't afraid of no ghosts. Booyah! I, uh, take your boo and I raise you a yaha. <laughs> Those Christmas lights really I, add to the side of the I, And I raise you an aw, oh, hell no! And I raise you a shut the fuck up, you little prick! <laughs> are, are we oh, I don't even remember what you're arguing about. Yes, mistress. Oh. We are settled. I don't even know who I was yelling at. I kind of want to see Angry Joe's mustache escape from his face and try to kill him. Don't give oh. him ideas. Well, how does that the, uh, work? What just stealing his scenes. That's the plot line of the Angry Joe movie. <laughs> <laughs> I heard his mustache is just CGI. It's not really there. Oh, that does make sense. Yeah. Why is Angry Joe's hair so tall? It's like taller than the rest of his head. I don't know. It's because he's from Texas. Yeah. Uh, okay. How do you and know he's not cameo? actually Mexican. <gasps> I accept but I am. He's my lord and savior. You're Mexican. I knew it. I am. They use that joke a lot, well, with Phelous dying. Uh. Wait, Phelous <laughs> <you> died? <laughs> yes, Demo, they did. <laughs> Wait, Phelous died? I don't want to like, say, I don't like want to say racist, times. but all Bothans steal and smell bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the thing is, I, I, every time he dies, I keep noticing his stubble. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I, I, you know what? I think they intentionally uh, brought up the whole Bothan thing just to piss off every single Star Wars fanboy who lives on that's Wikipedia. Probably, that's probably true. <laughs> not Wikipedia. That's Wikipedia. not Bothan. Bothan's around like that. You don't know what a Bothan is. Nash, Nash, not Wikipedia. Wikipedia. Bothans are those uh, teddy bears at the end of Jedi, right? Yeah, that's them. That's them. <laughs> yep. Yup, 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 yup. <laughs> and now I've given any Star Wars fans an aneurysm. Product placement for Coca-Cola. I don't want to say that the Ewoks were the best part of Jedi, but they were. Take I that, fan. I, I don't want to say that the Ewoks were the sexiest part of Jedi, but I think we all know that they were. Mm-hmm. I don't oh, want to say the one. ending credits were the best part of Jedi, but... <laughs> Hey, you know the reason why no one here was uh, doing a Princess Leia impersonation? Because it's too easy. No, because the cocaine would have been too expensive. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> blow is blow would really waste the whole budget. There'd be no yeah. Robocop costume. There'd be a pile of blow. No cameras either, or audio equipment. Or Film Brain. Film Brain would be sold for cocaine. Film Brain, Film brain is really cocaine. Exp- Film Brain is really expensive to animate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say that Film Brain is the Jar Jar Binks of American Sleep. Just couldn't get a lifelike Film Brain performance out of it. But he's not, not really there. Urban Nights. Hey guys, did you hear an absolutely brilliant joke? No. Sure. No. <clears throat> listen, listen, listen. <gasps> Spoonie. Brilliant. Brilliant. You know what I'm really noticing? Every time uh, every time this conversation turns to making fun of Film Brain, he always looks like he can hear us and is really sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Look, just just picture his has that face. sad eyes and tell me you're not tempted to immediately start making fun of him. Okay, folks, we need anyone listening, we need a sad film brain meme. Go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> film brain, the Ray Romano of that guy with the glasses. You heard you heard the man Tumblr, get to it. I'm sure all five of our viewers will get right on that. Oh, five? I oh, oh! <laughs> You're so sad. You just want to hit him again. Oh. Of course, that's just my fetish. Why's it gotta be a fetish? <laughs> Everything's a fetish. Yeah, it's yeah, sad. Do it. it really is. All right, I guess. Really there's a there's out. a there's a fetish for brushing your goddamn teeth. Right. Oh, I have that. Uh, ooh. What? Because nothing gets me turned on more than mint, I guess. <laughs> Dem Oversight does not approve of this fetish. <laughs> Dem Oversight does not understand this fetish. Well, there's also the, the farting um, fetish. God damn it. Fart? it I knew it. Admit it, Demiversa. You're turned on by Aquafresh, aren't you? <laughs> no, well, I, I always cheaped it out. I always cheaped him as a Colgate. Are we player. talking about me using Aquafresh or my partner using Aquafresh? Because <laughs> 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 that is a world of difference, let me tell you. Like your business partner? I'm confused. That's fine. Well, that's, that's one way to seal the deal. <laughs> <laughs> Who's eating crackers? Not me. I'm eating I hear, a I hear, I hear cellophane. Who, who's eating food? No, that's the that's the fleshlight I was unwrapping. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Just check. <laughs> if you're going to be unwrapping something, you should totally put a pop filter in front of your mic. Just cut that right out. Or just mute yourself. Oh, oh, yeah, that's really good. Sad film brain. <laughs> I thought you were really enjoying oh, a cracker. 
<sighs> okay, I'm good. I can continue. Where were we? Apples to apples. No, Cards Against Humanity is where it's at. I've heard only good things about Cards Against Humanity. It is a beautiful game. Why were they in the closet? Oh, because I teleported. I just, we, I couldn't hear it. Why do I get the feeling that if uh, if Handsome Tom had been in this one properly, he would have been playing Non? He never said anything for the previous two specials. Well, Non is not that lanky. I don't know. Kyle's beard really does pull off Non there. Yeah, he does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you notice that Lindsay only ever wears makeup whenever she's undercover or evil. What's your point? Well, That's they test commentary. They test makeup on bunnies, so makeup is evil. Wait, Phil, did they test makeup on you? And and hey, and he's you, dead because they tested makeup on him. Damn it! You you wear an entire you face of makeup this. in your videos, and damn you're it. the most evil thing ever. So see, we have successfully made an allegory. Between I also wear purple. Therefore, pur purple is evil. I agree. I also breathe oxygen. Evil looking oxygen, man. You know who else? Breathe, you know who else breathes oxygen? Hitler. Thank you for godwinning the commentary. That's Adam, why I was you know, you know who, no, get out. You know who You're else? Nitrogen, man. You know who else breathes oxygen? Doug Walker. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. dun. Mess with Doug. That feed. Yeah. Totally not my it's point. So okay. Cool. Hey, Muppets don't breathe oxygen. They don't. That's true. <laughs> no, but they get makeup tested on them. Yeah. <laughs> so but makeups like are the have. best people. I mean, Muppets are the best people. I agree. Yeah. You would. <laughs> well, do I? <laughs> and they always have a hand in their butt. That's Not always. True. Most of the time. Yeah. Muppets are above butts and mortality. Like, no, if, if a Muppet doesn't have a hand up its butt, it's not a Muppet. It's just an object. Like, a book sitting around. No, oh, but you, okay, but you're, 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 you're attributing something to having a butt that doesn't have a butt. There's no physical need for a living cartoon to have a butt except to make butt jokes. I love, how the, I love how this commentary is drifted to buttholes. No, much, much <laughs> like film brain, Both it doesn't have a butt, butt. it just has a hole ready for a hand to be inserted to bring it to life. Well, Nash, honestly, did you expect there to be a lack of holes in this commentary? Right, no, not really. I tried to make a there legitimate comment about the, the Darth Vader and sunglasses helmet and immediately got fired. Yeah, you got fired for being serial. Yeah, so why are you in the call? Yeah, but you're fired. Because Look I'm a weird No, no, stop, people. I don't know. Stop right now and just Happy look at Kyle dancing. Oh, my God. He's the best dancer. You should see him. At, you, if you should have seen him last year at Comic-Con for the the, uh, the Black Eyed Peas Dance Dance Revolution, it was, it was magical. Oh. Technically... I I actually did teach Kyle how to dance, uh, and you, Mike, actually. Yeah, yes, I was really drunk. He was drunk. Yes, you were both. Weren't you both? No, weren't you? he was drunk. I was sober. I remember. <laughs> Kyle's hilarious when he's drunk, though. Yes. You also tried to teach me how to dance, but... How'd that yeah. go? Yeah, but it were you drunk? Fired. It was awful. <laughs> I did the dragging and car thing in space first. That is true. That's yours, man. You own that thing. You can sue him for that. I can. I can. Yeah. Yeah, but is, doesn't your, like, car, in, isn't your, there a bear in your car, space car no. or something? Oh, my God. Who's driving space car? Bear is driving space car. <laughs> How could that be? I'm docking you, you all points. That reference, by the way. <laughs> You're all being docked points for quoting that. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have words. I don't even know what the points are. We have a point oh, system since they're when? They're very important. They're very important. Oh. Things later. And yeah, I've docked a bunch of them for me both. Hey, Nash. 
It's, it makes perfect sense for Zod to have no superpowers at this film. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> he, has, he has the power of chest hair. It doesn't make any sense for him to be alive, but to have no powers. It's very odd that his beard is kind of two-toned, isn't it? Well, what, part of it's drawn on. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. Where did that, <laughs> that is odd. That is one of the best bits in the movie, the box. Wait, the what box? Happens? Oh, he was here and now he's gone. How is he carrying the box on him? I, I'm just reading the box. Because solid fucking snake. Yep. But he's not solid snake. He's angry fucking Joe. Like no, Joe. he's flaccid snake. <laughs> he's flaccid snake. That is his new nickname. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm... I'm can't take my eyes off the incredible musical performance here. Yeah. I wonder if all the people are going, it should be a musical, were at least a little bit appeased by this shit. Oh, my God. I, yeah. was, I, was, one that, I was the one that started the initial musical Facebook petition, and I know that didn't go anywhere, so, yeah. Before this went up. That's because half of us can't sing. Yeah, and, the other, and the other half can't sing well. Auto-tune is your friend sometimes. In, no, there's not enough. I um, I would have loved to see an entire. I would actually love to see an entire musical done in auto tune. That would be highly entertaining. It's called get a regular movie and auto tune it. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Before this Pogo. went before this went up, uh, I was sent a copy of the distraction sequence before uh, Kyle and Lindsay had their bits added, and Doug was playing every single part, and it was very surreal. <laughs> That was, now that is something I you have to upload. Unfortunately, I uh, do not no longer have it. Oh, logo on the back of the car. Yeah, that, that is that is Autobot logo. Okay. And don't fuck with Mara it's Wilson. A, it's a transform. It looks so realistic. Wait, is you know, when, I wouldn't have zoomed into that, that oh. shit if I were them, because it, it started to look like it was drawn in MS Paint. <laughs> 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 that just makes it easier to repair. True. <laughs> <laughs> yes, quick, just use the bucket tool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tuck and drag, lasso tool, you're good as new. Oh, suddenly this song got much worse. He's holding that microphone in a very odd way. He's holding it like an ice cream cone. <laughs> <laughs> because microphones are delicious. They are. Mm. Oh, microphone. Mm. I just want to eat it all. Dog! That's very inappropriate of you. I know. I should get fired for that. How can you get fired? The website's named after you. It'll, it'll be... The, well, it can be if anyone with glasses. If they fire no. you, the site will just be called glasses. No, there has to be a punishment here. I'm thinking from now on, and it hurts me to do this more than it hurts you. Doug, from now on, no more critic videos. I'm <gasps> sorry. I've spoken. I, I have to put my foot down. It's over. It's done. But, 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 Finally. Okay. <laughs> I don't mind. I just want to be here in my corner. You know what I was a little bit surprised at? Despite all the nostalgia that's really usually uh, uh, permeating this website, this anniversary video that took place in space did not include a main screen turn on joke. Hmm. <laughs> that's not nostalgic. That's the internet. Yeah, but no, but it's it's obsolete internet now. Because if anybody makes that joke, like I just did, all you'll get is silence. Ugh. Ergo, it's time has passed. Uh, you're right. 
There weren't Didn't enough we, unfunny I jokes in this already. <laughs> <laughs> And you say that just as Lewis signs on, finally. <laughs> I, uh, I always said that, that they should do a roast, um, but it would either be not mean enough or too mean. <laughs> <laughs> what, a roast of Lewis? Okay. No, a roast of any of us. Yeah. Oh. Because we're assholes. <laughs> Ash, I think you'd be good at it. I think that that's my petition. No, I'm not. Fuck no. I know when to keep my mouth shut. Fuck no. <laughs> I'd be too good at it. That's the shame. I'd be the Lisa Lampanelli of that. Maybe I'm a snowpoke, but I just realized. Okay, not as manly. <laughs> I just realized that Louis, like Linkara is not in this movie that much. It's just Mikakara. You just, you just realized that? I thought you wrote and directed it, Doug. Yeah. You're not yeah, really, you don't pay right. attention no. much, do you? It's a script. I, I just wrote it when I was high, and, you know, I didn't notice that. I just forgot. Oh, I didn't know you got high. Yeah. I was going to write the anniversary movie, but then I got high. <laughs> Doug, the, uh, lay, Doug, lay off the helium. No, that's the sound. 